When your energies are blocked or not flowing evenly, there's something you can do to unblock them that I call an energy correction. Energy corrections are great for pulling you back into the moment in case something has pulled you out of it. And you can't enjoy the moment if you're not in it. Let's say worry or anxiety or even panic is keeping you from enjoying the moment. Or maybe you're craving something that's bad for you. Or maybe you're afraid when there's no real immediate danger. Or maybe you just can't get an unwelcome thought out of your head. Well, there's something you can do about it right now, wherever you are. There are many energy corrections, but I want to teach you my favorite one because it's good for resolving so many emotions that tend to get in our way. I call it the worry buster and it goes like this. In the worry buster, there are six points that we tap on. The four involved in the tapping sequence are these. The eyebrow points, right where the eyebrows begin, either side of the nose. The under the eye point, which is the fleshy part over the bottom of the eye socket. Under the arms, about four inches below your armpits, where there is a tender area, which you do not need to pinpoint if you use a basket of fingertips on each side to tap. And then under the collarbone, which we call the collarbone point, on either side of the breastbone or sternum. There's a little soft spot on either side. We also tap the outer edge of the hand, which we call the karate chop point, for obvious reasons. And the little valley between the bones of your last two fingers on the back of your hand, which we call the back of the hand spot, which helps move the whole process along. I will walk you through this, so try it with me now. Step one, tap the karate chop point on the outside of the hand for 20 or 30 seconds. You can think of this as releasing your inner emergency brake just in case it was on. Then bring something to mind that's worrying you or making you anxious and really let yourself feel it. Then rate it on a scale of 10 to zero where 10 is the most upsetting something can be for you, and zero being no upset, no anxiety. And make a note of that. And the first number that pops into your head is probably going to be the truest because you haven't had time to overthink it. Next, keeping the issue in mind, use the first two fingers of both hands, You're going to tap on the eyebrow points, back and forth, for about five seconds. Then you're going to tap under the eyes, back and forth, also for at least five seconds. Then under the arms with those baskets of fingertips, back and forth for at least five seconds. And finally, under the collarbone, either side of the breastbone for at least five seconds. Stop tapping now. Take a breath. Let it go. And just take a moment to notice whatever is coming up for you now on any level. Could be a thought, a feeling, a body sensation, an image, a memory, whatever it is. Then take a fresh reading on how anxious or upsetting it's making you feel in this now moment on our same 10 to zero scale. If your number hasn't gone down at least two points, tap on the karate chop point for 20 to 30 seconds, which is like making sure your batteries are in the right way. Then repeat the same tapping sequence with the four points in the same order And take a breath, let it go, and notice what the number is now. If your number has gone down two points after the first round of tapping, you're going to tap the back of the hand spot while doing the cat clock eye movements for at least 10 seconds. This is the strangest looking part. 
but powerful because it balances the flow in our survival meridian while making sure both sides of the brain are online. And then repeat the sequence. Same order, same points, until your number has reached zero or the issue feels manageable. This simple little sequence can make a big difference. It's fast, it's free, it's easy, and it can make you feel a lot better. Plus, it requires no special equipment, just your hands and your body, which you usually have with you. Of course, nothing is foolproof. If you aren't feeling a big difference, or even a little better, this may not be working for you, and you can stop tapping. Everything can't be for everyone, and your system may require a different approach, or maybe some professional assistance from a therapist to help you get to the bottom of whatever it is. Don't go it alone if you don't need to. There are a lot of good websites out there with referrals on them. And three of my favorites are emdria.org, parnellemdr.com, or energypsych.org. I hope you were able to tap away at least one of your worries. I'm Bruce Patterson. Happy tapping. <laughs>